Hi everyone, this is Dr. Shrini Iyengar, Director of Structural Heart here at Boulder Community Health. I'm here with Mike Rudy, Radiology Technologist, to show you a little bit about some of the structural heart procedures that we do here at BCH. There's a condition called mitral regurgitation. That condition is a condition where there's leaking across one of the heart valves called the mitral valve. Oftentimes, it leads to patients having shortness of breath, it can even have palpitations and fatigue, and untreated can lead to serious consequences like heart failure. Treatment of mitral regurgitation often involves medications. It can also involve open heart surgery or robotic surgery, but for some patients who are too high risk to get open heart surgery or any type of surgical therapy, there is a device called the mitral clip. And here we're going to show you how this device is actually utilized in the body with patients with severe symptomatic mitral regurgitation. Mike? So at this point, this catheter is actually placed in the common femoral vein in the patient's body. This part of the device is outside the body. But once we cross into the mitral valve itself, this device, which is the mitral clip itself, is slowly opened. And you can see here at this position, there are actually hooks on the bottom of this clip. Because what we do is once we are underneath the mitral valve, I'll pull back and then we start closing. And what this does is it actually cinches up the leaflets of the mitral valve. And if we are happy with how this looks and we see the reduction of the leaking, what we find is this is how the device looks in its final deployment. And now we'd like to refer you to one of our videos to show you more information about the mitral clip. The mitral clip G4 system by Abbott is a minimally invasive therapy to treat patients with severe symptomatic mitral regurgitation. This procedure takes approximately one to two hours and is done in a minimally invasive fashion. We insert the device through the right common femoral vein where a catheter and wire will lead us up to the right atrium. We then make a puncture from the right atrium to the left atrium. This is something that will heal over time once the catheter is removed. A wire is then inserted and then the mitral clip sheath is inserted into the left atrium. Once this is performed, the dilator is removed as is the wire. We then insert the mitral clip device itself. As you can see, the device can be angulated in multiple different views, as well as opening and closing. Once we have the device open, we try to position it over the greatest area of leakage in the mitral valve. We also test the gripper lines as well as the arms to make sure the device will be delivered appropriately. Once we cross the mitral valve, we then open the arms once again and pull back. We try to ensnare the largest area of leaking in the mitral valve. We can manipulate this device in multiple ways to assure that we have the proper amount of closure. Once we are happy with where the clip is, as you can see, there is a bridge of tissue that the clip has created. We then release the device and remove the catheter. And as you can see here on the left, the goal of the clip is to reduce that amount of regurgitation that you can see on the slide in the right.